After understanding absolute and relative refractive index, let us now look at the factors affecting refractive index of a medium. Mind you, refractive index means absolute refractive index, which of course is this case. So to say we are discussing about this case, that is the first medium always being air. So the first factor which affects the absolute refractive index is the nature of the medium. Denser is the medium compared to air, lesser will be the speed of light in that medium, hence more will be the refractive index. Now see, the denser the second medium is compared to air, okay, the more difficult it will be for the ray of light to pass through it. That is, the ray of light, the speed of light decreases and thereby it bends towards the normal, okay. So since the speed of light decreases in the second medium, so what happens is, see, the speed of light in the medium, the denominator is decreasing. So when the denominator decreases, Okay, of course, the numerator is not changing. The speed of light in air is same, is not going to be affected. But the speed of light in the second medium is decreasing. So when the denominator decreases, what happens is the whole fraction, that is mu, increases. Okay, so when the density of the second medium is more than the density of air, the speed of light in that medium decreases and thereby more will be its refractive index according to this equation. Now let us look at the second factor, temperature of the medium. With the increase in temperature of the medium, that is the second medium of course, if we increase the temperature of the second medium, what happens is its density decreases. So when the density of the second medium decreases with the rise in temperature, the speed of light in that medium increases. That is the denominator is increasing. So when the denominator increases, what happens? Mu decreases. So, as the temperature increases, what happens is the refractive index of the medium decreases. So, lesser will be the refractive index of the medium. Higher the temperature, lesser will be the refractive index of that medium, remember. And the third factor is color or wavelength of light. Now, before we discuss this particular thing, you need to understand that uh, whenever we say light, we are referring to the visible spectrum of light. That is, we are referring to V, I, B, G, Y, O, R. Okay, Vibgia. All right, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Because we can see these colors of light. And we also need to understand that all of these colors of light, they have different wavelength all our waves of course okay and therefore all of these colors of light different colors of light they have different wavelengths now this is a vibgyo v i b g y o r now do understand that the wavelength denoted by a lambda increases in this direction that is towards your right hand side which means red color of light has the maximum wavelength and violet color of light has the shortest wavelength also do understand that the speed of light, when we say light, we mean V, I, B, G, Y, O, R or the different combinations, okay, which could also give us white light, of course. So speed of light in air is the same. So to say for different colors of light, the speed in air will have this value 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. So all colors, all colors of light, they travel with the same speed in air. But in any other transparent medium, but in any other medium, what happens is, what is seen is, red travels with the fastest speed and violet travels with the slowest speed. Keep this thing in mind. Red travels with the fastest speed and violet travels with the least or the slowest speed. So when we take air and any other transparent medium, the speed of all colors of light, VIBGYOR, in air is the same, which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. But all these different colors of light, they travel with different speed in this transparent medium. Because of which they... So when we take air and any other transparent medium, all colors of light, VIBGYOR, they travel with the same speed in air which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second, but they travel with different speeds 
in this second transparent medium and we are seeing that red which has the longest wavelength it travels with the maximum speed and violet which has the shortest wavelength okay which has the shortest wavelength it travels with the least speed in here now when we look at this expression the numerator is the same for all colors of light because all colors of light they travel with the same speed in air so the numerator is the same for all these different colors which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second but when we look at the denominator the denominator has a higher value for red color of light and the denominator has a lesser value for violet color of light so to say the refractive index will decrease in case of red color of light the refractive index of the second medium decreases for red color of light because simply because the denominator has a higher value for red and the refractive index of this very same second medium increases for violet color of light because for violet color of light the denominator that is the speed of light speed of violet light in the medium has a lesser value so refractive index for violet color of light increases overall what i'm trying to tell you is this the refractive index of a medium decreases with the increase in wavelength of light so as the wavelength of light increases as the wavelength of light increases what happens is the value of refractive index decreases it is because of this decrease in the refractive index of a medium with increase in wavelength of light we see the phenomenon of dispersion of light which you've studied in your junior classes which is this we take a prism and we allow white light to pass through this prism we see different seven different colors okay so what is happening here is white light being a mixture of all these different colors all these different colors they travel with the same speed in air but the moment they enter the prism which is a different medium okay all these different colors they travel with different speeds and thereby they refract by different amount because of which they now split in the second medium okay and thereby we have we have these seven different colors coming out of the prism you can also see from the picture that since the refractive index of the material of the prism is maximum for violet light so therefore violet light deviates or refracts the most and since the refractive index of the medium that is the material of the prism is minimum for red color of light so therefore red color of light deviates or refracts the least